Namaste, my name is Rui Zimmer, I'm International Meditation Master. Today I want to speak about what does friendship mean. I found somebody in the internet, Simon Sinek. And he will tell you, and this is what I've written here down, what is a friendship. And this is exactly 100% the thing what germs think about a relationship. Okay, if you come from the USA, you think this is all BS. I think you have to hear that. Genuine friendships and uh, community connections are crucial for addressing mental health. Suicide rate is was never so high like now. Okay. Challenges like stress, depression, anxiety, addiction, and loneliness. You see, the digital addiction is very high, depression rate is very high, and for sure also the anxiety. And the people isolate from themselves because they don't have genius friendships. Many people overestimate their friendship skills, often prioritizing work over friends and failing to provide adequate support during difficult times. Again, many people overestimate their friendship skills, often prioritizing work over friends and failing to provide adequate support during difficult times. And this I see with all this to sex uh, uh, um, uh, 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 manager or what to say here, a uh, teacher, for them is to sex everything. And then they're claiming uh, getting heart, uh, heart attacks, they don't care. Because they don't care for people. They care only for money, for so sex. Sacrifice something for your sex. If you sacrifice your time for your sex, what remains for your friends who pick you up in bad times? Again, okay. if you sacrifice your time for your sex, what remains for your friends who pick you up in bad times? The same is true if we move to a different place and separate from our friends to avoid corporation tax to earn more money to have more to sex. So I moved quite a lot and lived today in Thailand for sure. I sacrificed my friends. Life is life. I followed my intuition and had to sacrifice my friends. And after some time, I found out also that the, my friends doesn't fit anymore to my situation and so on. For sure, I had to follow my heart and I would do it again. But for, but, but, but for normal people who are not a therapist, a trained, educated therapist, a psychologist who can help himself and who can help everybody else, a hypnotist and so on. I can help myself. I have learned that. Because I can help everybody. So I can help also myself. We have to balance our life values, so sex and social life and prioritize what we want. We have to balance our life values, so sex and social life and prioritize what we want. Again, the people who lived the longest and were the happiest had the happiest relationship. And the people who were chasing money and so sex died the earliest and had the unhappiest life. This was coming from a research, from a 75 years research from the Harvard University. My idea is until I'm a giver, I will find everywhere friends. And that is true. Remember, your friends will be for you and not your work. 
There is a study about addiction and living in a healthy social environment with kids, family and friends. Without a good functional social environment, the addiction rate is much higher than without. <laughs> it's just from a stupid thing, for sure. We see this with social media addiction or digital addiction. People feel lonely and then become social media addicted. For sure, the media loves that. like Facebook, YouTube, and so on. Why is a school not teaching how to connect better with people who and how to make friends? I don't get it. No. In Japan, they do that. In Japan, you go uh, to, to university, and for them is character building the first and foremost subject But in our society, who cares? Who, how to keep a friendship and how to maintain a friendship? There was a question from Becker Roshi, a Zen master, and so on. And he said, imagine what would be the perfect friend. And then he said, be it yourself. What does it mean to be together with your friends and family? <laughs> Share your feelings and problems in difficult times. This is also included for positive thinker. They are living in an isolated place. No? Share your hobbies. To have fun. To help when your friend is in a terrible situation. To encourage and motivate. To challenge your friend to become better. To tell your honest opinion regardless if your friend likes that or not. Would you sacrifice something big for your friends? Have you told your friends that you like them or love them? <laughs> If you haven't done so, do you think that is friendship? In the USA, everybody is your friend. And in Germany, a friendship means what I mentioned before. Otherwise, it is not a friend, it is an acquaintance. That's the difference between Germany, USA and UK. English speaking language, Australia is the same thing. If it's the same thing. Superficial uh, guys are your friends. We don't build trust by offering help, but by asking for help. I'm an introvert, 100% an introvert. But what I have learned is to ask. And if I'm in a difficult situation, I ask everybody. If you are full of trouble and think, I don't want to bother you with my problems, you isolate yourself from your friends and family. Okay, again. If you are full of trouble and think, I don't want to bother you with my problems, you isolate yourself from your friends and family. And this happens through positive thinking. You don't want to be a burden. No? You want to be all the time positive. If you don't have crisis, if you don't have challenge, then you don't grow. Okay? For your real friends, it is an honor and pleasure to help you, but you reject them. But you reject them if you don't ask for help. Oh. For women, it is easier to ask for help than for men. 100% sure. Thank you that I could speak about this and bye.